Hi, my name is Chandrish Desai and I would like to explain about uh, AWS overall network architecture. So this could, this could be like many components in uh, AWS network architecture, but I will try to give you the high level introduction and will explain uh, about uh, how to draw this type of network architecture in cloud edit cloud chart. So let me give you the quick tour about the AWS network architecture. So, so first when the user is uh, sent the request, uh, to the shield. So shield, uh, what is a shield? So AWS shield is a managed distributor uh, denial of service protection service that will uh, safeguard the application running in on AWS there. It provides the dynamic detection and automatic inline uh, mitigation that minimize the application downtime and latency. So once the request should be passed through shield, then it will be go to the WAF, AWS WAF there. So AWS WAF is a web application firewall that help to protect the web application from attacks by allowing you to the configure the rules that allow block or monitor the web request based on your condition that you define there. Then it will be passed the request to the CloudFront. So the CloudFront is a web service that uh, speed up the distribution of your static and dynamic web contents such as like uh, HTML, CSS or JavaScript or any image file to your to the to the user so cloudfront delivers your content through the worldwide network uh, data centers uh, in, in terms of like aws it calls like edge location there so then request uh, pass through internet gateway so what is the internet gateway so the internet gateway is uh, enables the communication between the instances in your vpc and the public internet so it required like resource in the public subnet to access the internet there so then it is uh, so here I can also explain about the VPC so basic introduction about the VPC is that uh, that's uh, the foundation of uh, the AWS network architecture so it's like a logically isolated uh, section of the AWS cloud where you can launch the resources in virtual network that you define uh, VPC also enable you to the control IP addresses range subnet routing tables and security group and the network gateways there so in the VPC, uh, you can see the multiple subnets there, like a, a private subnet, public subnet, and firewall subnets there. So the subnet basically isolate uh, the IP range. Uh, subnet can also be uh, ac uh, accessible from the internet, which is called like a public, and uh, not accessible from the internet, which is called the private. So they can help the organize and organize the network over there, and then you can see the request pass through from internet gateway through the firewall subnet where like network firewall will filter out the request there and then it pass through the uh, next uh, the public subnet where the ALB and net gateway are uh, spin up there so in 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 between there is a, you can see also the NACL so which is like an optional layer for the security that can act as a firewall for controlling the traffic in and out of the subnet you can associate multiple subnet with a single network ACL, but the subnet can be associated with only one network ACL at a time. So as you see, the request is passed through the NACL through the public subnet and then it is passed through the private subnet where your uh, private resource is created, let's say EC2 or probably the RDS server or any other uh, private uh, resources there. In the private subnet uh, in EC2, you can also create as a security group. So security group, it's like a virtual firewall for instances. They control the inbound and outbound traffic based on your rule you define there. So each instance can have it associated with one or more security group. So as you see that like request is passed through from uh, private subnet to the EC2, then it is also uh, go through that VPC endpoint and the VPC endpoint, it's like a private link there. So AWS private links provide the private connectivity between the VPC and the supported AWS services and your on-premise network without exposing traffic to the public internet. So it used the AWS uh, backbone network there. And the VPC private link, uh, the request should be lent to the NLB, it's a network load balancer. So network load balancer is a layer for network traffic management and uh, ALB, which is like application load balancer, which is a layer seven traffic uh, that will be passed through there. 
and uh, you can see that like uh, an NLB that request is passed through the EC2 and other link that is a private link of so also like you know use the services as a storage for it like a public storage for S3 bucket there or it can also be good good for like an SNS or SQS there so as you can see that this architecture uh, diagram it is um, all the flow is moving and it will be easy to visualize all the flow there with the different components there so using the cloud chart uh, there are multiple options here uh, you can create this type of architecture in a very quickly manner i can also give you the high level things about let's say for example if i need to stop this uh, moving flow i can just click on the setting and then uh, use the animation stop so for example if it is stopped that like that way and uh, if we need to start the animation then just i can toggle this button there so let me just create like quickly about this type of architecture um, in the cloud a cloud chart so let me just go to the home page create a new architecture i can go to that uh, temp uh, create a blank architecture there i can give you the ws uh, network architecture and i can uh, go to the location for the, uh, the my project and my team there I can just create that and uh, let me grab the AWS icons there, AWS clouds. So here the user you should uh, user should be coming from uh, the request coming from the user. So I can just grab that user icons there. Say so just change the user. I can rename it like AWS Cloud or then I can uh, grab the shield just type uh, shield here you can make it align there then I can grab the WAF make it align then I can bring the cloud front can go to that uh, VPC virtual private cloud you can see that here you can make it align so let's say we can bring the Subnet. subnet let's bring the public subnet first you can make it a little bigger here so it can be all fit into that subnet there Submit here, then we can bring the uh, private submit. So it's all aligned properly. And make it a little center. We can put it here as a cloud front. In middle the wall. Then there should be internet gateway there. Grab 
the ALBN NAT gateway so there is ALB ALB here then it should be NAT gateway just type NAT let's put it short as a NAT then we can grab the firewall can grab the network firewall put in the center then we can grab the knuckle Access list, yes. We can put it somewhere here. We can call it an echo. Put it here. Echo. Then I can bring the VPC endpoints. This endpoint I can put it here. Then I can also put it somewhere at the down. I can put it here. Then I bring the two more VPC for the provider one and provider two. So let me just put it the virtual private cloud here and just align those things. Okay, and then uh, I can bring the NLB EC2 S3 SNS. Let me just cut the uh, NLB load balancing. Okay, that should be network load balancer classic gateway. And here is the network. I can put it here. NLB and then it should be the EC2 again. So I can put it here. Then S3 SNS and SQS S stories. <coughs> S3 and SNS or maybe the notification notification okay simple notification service here you can make it as a short name SNS and SQS let's say we type Q simple Q service SQS now let's bring the firewall manager DNS resolver firewall. so firewall manager we can put it somewhere here let's call the DNS resolver let's see put it here somewhere the network analyzer user network analyzer then VPC traffic mirroring traffic mirroring here okay so now we need to connect the flow there 
So let's say the user sent the request to the shield. So we can just put the request to shield. Then user sent the request to the WAF. Then it sent the request to the cloud front. Then let's say if we can make it align. Then it sent the request to the internet gateway. Then it sent the request to the firewall subnet. Okay. And then it is connecting to the public subnet. And it's connecting to the private subnet. And then EC2 connect to the VPC endpoint. Okay, and then VPC endpoint connect to the NLB. Okay, and NLB connect to the EC2. Okay, and then there should be a private link in between the public services for VPC. I can call it as a private link. Link. And I think that's it. Yeah. I believe we can also create a proper coloring let's say if you want to create a color for example uh, let me just get that color code for that one uh, let me just uh, put the color code I can just type this code because I have it already and I can make it little center yes and then I can use the color code for the VPC let's say we can use the color code for this one I can just call the background color change this one to yes so look good and now I can go to the change the color for provider let's say this is the provider one VPC provider one PC and this is called it as a let's say provider to VPC. I can also change the color of this uh, background for the provider one and provider two. So let me grab the color core. You can you can use any color that you would like to do that, but I have my own color, so I can use it that one, and I can also use the same color core for that one. Yeah, so it looks good. Yeah, so this is exactly uh, I just showed you that before. This is the exact color we can see it here. So okay, and now let's say if you want to start the animation, it is very easy there, and there is options there. For example, let's say if you want to uh, make it like a dashed line there, I can change the line from a solid light to the dashed line there. And let's see if I start the animation just toggle button this one and it's 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 go, uh, working perfectly as, as we uh, see that before you can also change the color of this uh, the edge edge is meaning like uh, the lines between the two icons there let's see if you want to change this color uh, is it like a blue color there or something like that then let's say you can change this color to like that you can put it like a red color so these are the options there you can like mix and match and you can see the private link it's continuous flowing there you can also change the color of that one let's see if you can make it as a uh, blue probably yeah so you can see that like the private link it's just this line is there and it's continuous flowing there so yeah that's it and um, you can definitely use that uh, entire template uh, that is we we already creating that cloud a template and you can also access those template and you can you can also create your own um, architecture using the cloud chart there so you can drop any comment if you see any issue to drawing this architecture or if you have any fundamental question about the overall network architectures then we can happy to discuss about that thank you